sorry. I came a little late on this. Sorry if you say that, but my brother did too, so we're all fine. But precisely yesterday, on May 5th, 2021, France celebrated the 200th anniversary of the death of French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. Now, if you don't know, Napoleon was a French commander, or used to be in this case. He later became a political leader, winning many successful battles, and later became an emperor in 1804, and he stayed like that for a decade until 1814. And with good reason, too, because of the infamous Battle of Waterloo. Beforehand, Napoleon attacked Russia in 1812. But then the following year, Prussia and Austria joined Russian forces in a sixth collision against France. Then came a massive battle, which ended up getting France to Paris. After all that happened, Napoleon Bonaparte decided to abdicate in April 1814. However, he had exiled himself all the way in Italy, and by then, France had already rebuilt itself. But then came the infamous Battle of Waterloo. You probably know how this ends up. The French were ultimately defeated, and along with Napoleon Bonaparte, they all fell. The British then exiled him all the way to St. Helena in the South Atlantic. Then he died of stomach cancer in 1821 on May 5th. 200 years ago yesterday. His reported death was met with shock and grief throughout Europe. He was buried a few decades later. Today, 200 years after his death, France still remembers Napoleon Bonaparte. He was a loving man, but somehow an evil person. Well, not exactly evil, but you get the gist. Napoleon Bonaparte was 51 years old at the time of his death. May he and his army rest in peace.